hey guys what's up it's me andrea and welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog today is tuesday we had yesterday off yesterday was martin luther king day and we had the day off so i was super excited about that and it is now tuesday it's after work on a tuesday so it's a little after three o'clock because of covid and stuff like that we're not doing pt so i didn't have to do that today i was supposed to have went to work out today like i packed my clothes and stuff to work out and everything and i forgot that i had a an appointment with the orthodont with the orthodontist today at my at the clinic off post i pay for my braces out of pocket so i go off post to all of my appointments and stuff like that and i forgot i had an appointment today and i was going to just go after my appointment but then i realized i have a chemical lecture that um i have a chemical lecture that i'm doing for my civilian schooling that started today as well so um yeah i just won't be working out today i'll probably do like some quick push-ups sit-ups and stuff at home before i take my shower tonight just so i can have done something but yeah i'm super excited about this appointment i actually been sitting in this spot for an hour because i got here so early class let out so early so i just didn't have anything else better to do and i didn't want to drive all the way home just to turn around and drive all the way back on this side of town because my orthodontic clinic is really close to post so i don't know what i'm doing today i'm hoping i am told when i can expect to take these braces off my teeth i thought that they were going to come off in november but that didn't happen i had to be in the um the rubber bands or whatever you want to call them i had to be in those for a little bit longer than expected so my teeth look okay like especially the top teeth i like how those are coming along like i feel like this side over here though it's definitely shorter than over here i don't know why that is and then this tooth right here i noticed that that's starting to do something he, can you see that they're starting to do something crazy and i'm not sure what's going on there so i'm gonna have to ask them when i get in there i just spit on my camera <laughs> i've had these rubber bands on now for the longest um and they also put something else in there i'm not sure but i hope that actually made a difference because when i come in i notice that they don't tell me if i'm improving or i'm not improving i feel like i see a difference but they act like they don't see a difference i don't know so i just got questions and stuff today hopefully they tell me when they're coming off because i was kind of hoping to have them off um by april because i've had these on since 2017 so wish me luck because i just need these off my teeth <laughs> All right, so I just finished in my appointments and I don't know if I'm gonna be out of these braces by April. Um, <laughs> so they, let me see if you can see this. They shaved or like sawed between my teeth down here. He said he did see that this one was a little bit higher, but he said that's an easy fix. So I shouldn't have to worry about that. I have to wear the rubber bands like that now. Man, I must go get Chick fil A. So I'm home. I had to sneak in, and as usual, I have a mess. I have some folded clothes that I have to put away, and honestly, it's just a mess in here. Look at this. Look at, look at my room. This is actually marker on the floor. When I say this floor is so gross, Mia literally probably anything that you know of that you can drink Mia's probably spilled it on this floor so before I do anything let me go ahead and try to clean this up and change my clothes and get comfortable okay
just finished in the shower and I didn't wash my hair. I told myself that I was going to wash my hair, but I'm gonna just um, try to ride this out. I flattened my hair like a week ago, I wanna say. I don't know, probably like a week ago. And so I've just been um, putting a little bit of oil and stuff on it, brushing it out and then putting it back into those little two twists that I've had for the longest. <clears throat> I've been trying to get my hair a break because I'm trying to grow it out, but my scalp is <laughs> my scalp is definitely starting to itch. So I think I'm going to be I'm going to be washing it pretty soon. I don't know how to braid, I don't know how to do hair, I don't know how to do anything. So I literally just wear these twists. See, I didn't ugh, I can't even do a twist right. And this is why you see me in the same bun and the same ponytail at all times unless I decide to wear my fro because I don't know how to do hair. I'm thinking about getting my hair done um, for Valentine's Day. I'm just not sure just yet. I mean, I feel like if I learn how to do like my own wig or whatever, maybe, but yeah, I don't know how to do hair. So I just don't get my hair done. Barely get my nails done. I barely, like the only time I really put on makeup is if I'm really about to step out. Like really, really about to step out. Um, or if I'm about to make a video. That's about it. As you can see in my vlogs, I be barefaced, okay? So yeah, but I have a package from Amazon. Oh, I scraped my finger. I have, I need my glasses. I have a package from Amazon. I wanna see what's in it real quick. I'm. I know there's some bottles for some oils and stuff because guys, I started making my own skincare, my own skincare products. I don't know if you can tell a difference from before what my skin used to look like, but I kid you not, maybe it's just all in my mind. But since I started making my own stuff and using my own products, my skin has been clearing up so nicely and the texture is super nice. I started making um, products for other people. So I just need to see. <laughs> What's Amazon delivered today? Oh, jeez. These be right. So I have these tops for the oils. Two ounce bottles that I bought. This is one that I had already made. So. And that's what it looks like and it's just a facial oil just just a mm, just a regular moisturizing facial facial oil so this is one of them one of my products anyway i also bought some oh that's cute why do they have it like vacuum sealed like this i bought some bonnets for mia hold on let me open this oh those are cute Ooh, those are, they don't even smell funny. Those are nice. So this is a pink one. It has like some different color hearts on it. And then a brown or champagne or whatever you want to call that. And these are some flowers. Then you have, I don't realize so many came in this. I mean, shoot, can I fit these? Um, this is a purple one and this is more flowers. A blue one with more hearts on it and oh I think I like this one this is just a little floor mm, like a little so leaves with watermelons on it so these are super cute and they have a drawstring on them and so oh and I can <laughs> barely I can fit this though oh, that's cute I like that. Um, I also bought the little computer cover for my computer. Oh, it's so pretty. So I got this computer cover thing and it was the, it was like a rose gold cream ombre type of look. And it also came with the um, keypad cover as well. And it's kind of the, you can even see that. It's kind of the same 
type of thing going on you can't see that um and it also came with a screen protector so i'm gonna put that on my computer and see if it fits because this looks kind of big but i still have not seen my kids yet so let me go and see my kids Hmm? I gotta clean it. Which one do you want to wear? Yeah. Which one do you choose? Mm -hmm. you I'm talking about the bonnet, boo boo. Oh, this, this, this. Oh, this one. You didn't like the purple one? Okay, here. You gotta sleep in this so your hair can stop getting so dry and rubbing. It's my guy. How does that feel? Is that too tight? Is it too tight? You need to loosen it? That's my dog. That's my guy. Okay. Ooh, let me see. Ooh. Can I wear my bonnet? Yeah, I like your bonnet. Mm -hmm. What you doing with that bonnet, girl? <laughs> What's my wearing shoes? Hmm? You want to choose that one? Yeah, you want to show daddy your bonnet? What up, baby? What's up, girl? Hey, y'all, what's up? I have no clue where I left off on this vlog. I just know I went the entire day thinking that today was Tuesday and it's Wednesday. It's been Wednesday this whole time. Where did I leave off? I don't know. Just know between when I left off and up until this point. Your girl ended up getting a real bad migraine. So um, I woke up this morning at like two o'clock in the morning with the worst migraine ever. Y'all know I get migraines anyway and I usually try to catch them really early. Like as soon as I feel just a little bit of pain, I try to take something and I did not feel a migraine coming on. I didn't get an aura. I didn't get anything like that. I just woke up because the pain was so bad at like two o'clock in the morning i took two etc and thinking that was going to help um try to get some sleep because you know i have to wake up at five o'clock to get ready for work and i want to say around 5 15 still had the pain 5 30 i'm still in pain and i'm like okay there's no way i'm going to be able to make it to work like this and getting up at 5 30 that means i'm late like if i'm up any time past 5:15, I'm late, right? So me laying there, that goes to show. Like I just could not do anything. I could not. I could not even. I don't know. I couldn't do anything. Okay, so my pain medicine finally kicked in to the point I was able to get up and do just a little bit, and that was around 5:45 this morning. And I ended up texting my. I ended up texting my instructor that I'm with right now and I just let her know I'm like hey you know I'm gonna head off to sick call because I need to try to get some type of medicine to break this migraine because what I have is not working so I get up I'm getting ready and like when I have a migraine I like move like a turn like I try to make the most smoothest transitions I try to move so gracefully and gently because any type of jolt or anything like that just disturbs whatever is going on up here and i just have this throbbing pain like back in the back of my head and usually like right in here and it's if you get migraines you know how disruptive to life they are like they are very immobilizing like you can't do anything with a migraine and i hate it so much you do not play with that socket i see you i'm over here watching amia because she's looking a show let me see what you got so she has this charger and I'm I'm looking at her out of my peripherals and I see she's looking at it and she's looking at the charger and she's looking at the other part and she's looking over at the wall. And as soon as she took a step to go over towards the socket to think she was going to plug it in because I have an extension cord plugged in over here, I'm like, ah. <laughs> anyway, so, so yeah, that's what happened this morning. I ended up going to sit call. Um, I let them know because... So when my migraines get that bad and I have to go to sick call for them, what they do, what they usually do, um, they give me the three different medications. It's usually Finnergan, Tr Trinidol, Tordol, Tordol, and I think Naproxen. 
it's it's one of them. It's 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 usually a mixture of medication. And what I don't like about it is it makes me really drowsy. I hate medications that make me drowsy. I don't care how much pain I'm in. If that mess is gonna put me to sleep, I don't want it. So they ended up sending me home with some different medications just to take and try to sleep it off until the um, the migraine broke, which helped. It helped. So I'm fine now. I actually can't wait to get back to work tomorrow. Um, I'm just in a phase where I feel a little bit comfortable with what is it what it is that I'm doing. So I actually don't mind getting up and going to work. Hopefully, I make it to the gym tomorrow. But what I'm doing right now, I have a case study tomorrow. Hey. What? You're gonna go and brush your teeth? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You gotta brush your teeth with your new toothbrush. Mommy. It's messy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go clean it. If you made a mess, can you clean it, please? Mm -hmm. Okay, go clean it for me. Thank you. So, uh, what I'm doing right now is I am actually getting ready for a case study that is due tomorrow. Um, I was supposed to have did it today, but of course, since I wasn't at work, I wasn't able to do it today. Um, originally i was doing my case study on metastatic pancreatic cancer but then i had to realize last phase i already did a case study on pancreatic cancer because i've been seeing a lot of pancreatic cancer at the hospital that i'm working at so that's what i was just really interested in um but yeah they don't want us to repeat topics so then i had to end up redoing the entire thing and so i decided to do my case study on inferior epigastric art artery injuries so yes <laughs> so i have this here um i have my computer up here just getting some photos and doing a little bit of research here i have my handy dandy book here this was given to me by a nurse when i was shadowing my pa at fort stewart so okay so I got this cracking the books and stuff open so I can go ahead and get this done um I'm probably gonna be up a little bit later than I would like to but I definitely won't be making it too late so I'm gonna go ahead and get the the body of this done and probably just finish the rest during lunch or something like that um yeah because if I'm not sleep by 11 30 at the latest I'm dead in the morning huh what can I read what Read what? Read the skeleton book. So Mia calls this book the skeleton book because it has the skeleton pages in it. Those are mine. Those are yours? Mm -hmm. It's your skeleton? Yeah. Those mm. are my skeleton hat. Oh, what about that? It came in stones already. Oh, yeah. What about that one? It's, it's a muscle, yeah.
all right so it is friday it's after work on a friday i just made my favorite meal for right now it's literally just strawberries bananas with some pecans on them so yeah i've really been enjoying that so i'm about to go ahead and eat on that but let me tell y'all what happened to sam last night sam sam what are you doing what are you doing so sam got locked outside last night and i have no clue how um angel said that she was washing some clothes and stuff like that so i'm pretty sure she just went out there when the door was open but somehow she ended up getting locked out so all last night and all this morning before i got up to go to work i hear a super loud cat just meowing away and i was irritated because i thought it was my neighbor's cat because my neighbor they usually put their cat on the patio or the you know <clears throat> the cat gets out there and they forget that the cat's out there i don't know what happened but all i know is there was a super loud cat meowing and i couldn't figure out where it was coming from and so when i get up in the morning i'm used to sam either being in a window or she sleeps at my feet or she'll like curl up right next to my chest and i'm like okay she's not in here maybe she slept on the couch or maybe she slept in some clothes in a closet that she has no business being on i thought she was somewhere so I go in the bathroom and I'm brushing my teeth and, and I close the door when I'm in the bathroom because sometimes Mia sleep with me. So Mia was in a bed last night so I closed the door so the light wouldn't wake her up. And I'm brushing my teeth and usually if I go in the bathroom without Sam, she's scratching like you see her little paws under the door. Or if she is in the closet, you know, you'll hear her fat so plop down on the ground because she's coming to beg for breakfast probably. And I'm like where in the world is my cat and i'm brushing my teeth and i'm like where is she so i walk outside the room and i'm thinking maybe she slept on the couch i go and i open the door where um angel sleeps and i thought she was probably in there because usually if she's in there if i open the door she'll burn out to go to the bathroom she wasn't in there and i asked angel i'm like where is sam and she's like i don't know and i'm in instantly i'm like oh my goodness that was sam this has been Sam meowing to the top of her lungs this entire time. And so I go to the patio and in, in a complete urgent manner, snatch the door open, lo and behold, guess who's on the patio? Sam. And so she's looking up at me and she's like crawling over to me all slow. She's like, nom, 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 like making this little noise. And I felt so bad because y'all, it rained all last night. It was raining all night too. So I felt so bad. I gave her like a bunch of snacks and stuff like that when I got her back in here. But she can blame her aunt for that because I didn't know she was out there. I was asleep, okay? But yeah, that's what happened to Sam. I mean, I did lock her in the dresser at one point, but that's besides the point. The point is she got locked out last night and it wasn't my fault. So look how she looking at me. Yes, we talking about you, but real quick my little fruit bowl i just put some bananas in there some strawberries some pecans i bought these but these are the ones i usually buy i just like how soft these are these are really soft too i was surprised so i don't know i like both of these so these are this is what i'm eating like every day what i've been enjoying but i'll see you guys a little bit later because i have homework for the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow them stuff for you.